This is the card I'll be showing you how to make. It's using the Honey Bee Home stamp set here. And kind of my reason for this video and just going through this card is I wanted to share some tips and tricks to get a nice ink and stamped embossed image in the white. Um, so I'm going to show you how to um, stamp and ink and also re-ink the new foam pads here of the Craft White ink. So to get started, um, I took a five and a half by eight and a half sheet of pale papaya cardstock, and we'll fold that in half here. <clears throat> and another important trick or tip is to make sure you're stamping on your um, foam pad here. So, and I've just put a scrap piece of a paper here just so I don't get the craft white in the foam pad here. So set this aside and I'm first going to show you how to re-ink the foam pad here. So open it up and as a lot of you know the craft ink can be very um, sticky and thick and hard to absorb and especially I feel like a little bit harder to absorb into the foam pad here. So take your re-inker and you're going to squeeze them out all over the pad and depending on how dry your pad is, you might need more or less. So once you have it on there, like so, it's literally not soaking in. So what I like to do is I call it icing the ink pad. Um, but take a spoon, this seems to work the best, maybe a disposable one or one that you don't mind getting ink on, and literally you're going to ice it like you're icing a cake or a cupcake and work it into the ink pad here and all around the edges, but I feel like icing, icing the ink pad is a pretty good representation of what we're trying to achieve here. So once you've done that, essentially you can tell like the whole ink pad, all the inks absorbed and everything. So, and we're good to go at that point. So set your spoon aside and your inker, and we will start stamping. So I've chosen this flowery image here. And one trick that you really want to be careful and aware of is with this foam pad, you want to very lightly tap. If you think about it as um, you're stepping your boot in some mud, and if you push really hard and you put a lot of weight, the mud's just going to go around your boot instead of getting on your boot. So you want to think about that in just barely touching it to the ink pad so that it picks up the most ink possible here. So we will start by stamping maybe not quite all the way at the edge here but stamping and then also don't push super hard because when you push super hard you're squishing the ink away from the image and it's not inking up the stamp or putting the ink in the rubber edges so that it's not coming out the image is not coming out as well. So um, you will just kind of go up and down and kind of like stamp your rows of flowers here. Kind of make them all different heights. But keep stamping down and just tap, tap, tap. Light, light, light. Like a feather's touch, honestly, is all you want when you're even stamping it on the paper. That is the big, big tri trick. Um, and then I come back over here and I'm just going to fill in this little area here. Um, and stamp half on and half off just like that. So there we have, and you can already tell that that is pretty inked up and well inked and looks amazing already. So grab your white embossing powder here. And Got some embossing powder all over. And then you can shake off the excess. Just make sure you got all your edges there. Shake off the excess. You can also flick it just a tad bit. But also you can see right there that looks amazing and the image is very prominent and looks amazing. So after you do that, grab your heat tool here and we are going to just heat it to where it heats up and looks shiny. Alrighty. 
now you should be able to see that has a nice shiny look to it and the image came out beautifully and there's no crackled or missing um, spots where the image came out. So next what I did is took the pale papaya ink and I just took my thumbs and kind of pushed down in the uh, lid of it to get some extra ink here and then I took a blender pen and I'm just going to take some of the ink and go over the flowers here just to add a little extra accent on all the flowers and all the flower buds kind of like that so that when you finish you should have a card that looks something like this so that just kind of makes those white um, embossed flowers pop even more so next we're going to take the soft suede ink here and you'll take the You're the Nicest stamp from the Honey Bee Home stamp set and we'll just tap that there and then we're going to stamp this right up at the top just like that. So that comes out a really nice image there. Okay, set aside your card and then I am going to grab the, um, the Hive 3D embossing folder here and I'm going to take some vellum and slip that in there like so and then grab your platform your base number one platform you'll set your embossing folder there and then use the number four embossing gray plate to go all over top of it and you'll use the die cutting machine to run that through when you finish you'll end up with a piece like this and it's pretty cool I kind of just wanted to make like a piece of honeycomb so literally you can just kind of start ripping and it kind of gives this nice little edge here and this cool little effect um, that will go along your card so I just tore out a small little piece here and I'm going to use some Tombow and adhere that down. Let's see here. Actually, I'm going to go this way. But we'll put it down towards the bottom and just put a little pressure just to make sure it sticks. And then I took some of the um, Whisper White Baker's Twine here. And I'm just going to tie a little bow. It can be a messy, loose bow. It doesn't have to be a very perfect bow here. But but you can adjust it how you like. Pull it tight, like so. And then just take some scissors and trim off your edges. Excess ends there, like so. And then I'm going to slide this bow over just a smidge. And then um, I took some of the DSP, the um, Heart and Home, Heart and Home DSP here. And I thought these bees were pretty cool. So I took um, a pair of scissors and just actually fussy cut one of the bees out. And then I also took some Wink Estella here and went over the bee. And then I put a dimensional on the back and then just kind of popped him on there like he's flying around for the flowers. Um, anyways, so there's the finished card. Um, but there's a few tricks and tips um, to using the uh, foam um, new craft ink ink pad here um, and just getting a nice, nice well inked and embossed look and image. Um, from those fine line stamps. Um, so anyways, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.